In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very, very simple passing concept that you need to add to your uh, playbook in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel posts four videos a day that are designed to help you get better at Madden NFL 21 um, through tips, through strategies, through money plays, through little... Um, tactics that you can use uh, like we're going to do today. And so if that's something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand of the screen. Also, if you want to be notified whenever we go live, we live stream every single night, um, typically around 10 o'clock Eastern time. You can uh, click the notification uh, bell so that you can have access to that. So what I want to do real quick is I just want to show you that this does not have, um, there's no, um, there's no uh, rhyme or reason. There's no like special concept that's better from or whatever, but curl flat. This concept right here is one of the best concepts in Madden. And here is why, because no matter what the defense does, and I will show you this in, your, in just a second, but literally what you can do with this is absolutely crazy. So right now we're gonna put our zone drops on default and we're just gonna come out in a very simple curl flat concept since the offense is at a uh, dime personnel. Uh, we're gonna come out in uh, the dollar three two six cover four drop contain and we're gonna come out in curl flat. Now what you're gonna see is, I talk about curls all the time in this channel, but literally this does not have to just be from one side. It can only, You don't have to have it on both sides. You can have it on one side of the field if you want to, but literally what's going to happen, you can low ball past lead these curl routes inside, as you see right there, against the purple zone. That's a purple zone, right? We'll show you. So that's a purple zone. We'll also show you the cloud flat. You're going to see that what the flats do in this year's game is they are going to pull the zones outside of these curls. They're going to pull the zones outside of these in-breaking patterns. That's what makes curls so good, uh, in my opinion. Now, what I'm going to do is that was a cloud flat, and I'll show you. Um, a hard flat's not really going to do much better. We'll show you this right here. You're going to see that, boom, we're able to hit that against that cover four defense. We're able to hit the cover four and cover three cloud flat uh, stuff. Let me show you cover two here. And this is where it really gets interesting with these curl routes this year. I think curl routes are one of the best routes in the game because of the way that they sit against the different types of zone coverage. Now what you'll see here is against cover two, you're typically going to deliver the ball to the quick flat. So if they're in uh, Tampa two style where they're playing over the top coverage, what you're gonna see is we could deliver this ball to this quick flat to the, um, to the wide receiver. Uh, once we check the curl, so the once once we check the curl route, we'll see here cover two, step up in the pocket, step up in the pocket, and here you see that the zones are going to just stick to the the curl route, and we're going to be able to get the ball out. So against cover two, typically what I like to do is you can go ahead and zig this receiver as well. This zig and curl concept, what you're going to see is you see they fall away against cover two, and you've got a quick nine, eight to nine yards against the cover two defense. You'll also be able to still consistently beat the cover three defense. As you can see right here, the zig is gonna pull them, pull those cloud flats out and you're gonna be able to pop the ball right into uh, your receiver on that. So now what I wanna do is show you what is possible with this concept, what's possible with this route combination as far as what it does against zone drops, right? So a lot of people like to drop their zones and in my opinion, if you're going to defend this, the best zone drop is going to be about 15 yards. So we're gonna show that here in just a second. But what you're gonna find is when people start dropping their zones, it actually um, is going to help the curl routes out a little bit more because curl routes are gonna be on the inside. The flats are gonna pull the curl routes outside. So here, this is a purple zone, 15 yard shade, as you can see here. And for some reason, Matt Ryan threw the ball to the left, but when you pass lead the ball to the inside, you're gonna see, I'm gonna be able to pop these curl routes in very, very consistently. Just low ball, pass lead inside, click on, and you're going to swerve him down so that he comes back to the ball, and you're gonna be able to make a catch. You're gonna see that against cover three as well. Let's say we go to the flat zones, and you're gonna see cloud flats don't have really anything, any business on this as well either. That's 15 yards. That's the best zone that you're gonna have. 10 yards is not gonna cover it, 20 yards is not gonna cover it. Most of the time, they're gonna be doing something like this, and what you'll see is even if they do, um, let's say they go man-to-man, -man, right? Well, if they're shading coverage up and over top, what you're going to see is you're going to be able to low ball that right there. It's going to sit right underneath the cloud or the curl flat zones that are coming from your safety. So you really have a great little set here, a great system that's going to be able to do a lot of damage against your opponent 
uh, as you can see here. Now, again, if we're cover two, what you're gonna see here is when they do the zone drops out of cover two, it actually is gonna pull the cloud flats away. They're not gonna defend the curl route. So if they're doing zone drops at all, which a lot of people are gonna be doing zone drops in this year's game, what you're gonna be able to consistently do to them is you're literally going to be able to pop this curl route in over and over and over and over again. That is a 15 yarded shaded cloud uh, or curl flat. Now what I wanna do is show you what they're probably gonna try to do to stop this one. This is what makes this offense, in my opinion, so good, especially from spread this year. So if you go to zone drops, and I'm just gonna set my zone drop, um, my curl flats, I'm gonna set them at zero yards, and my, my flats, I'm gonna set them at 15. And what we're gonna basically do is we're gonna come out and we're gonna run dollar, and we're gonna run cover two press, and I'm gonna show you, this is what they're gonna try to do to stop this. They're gonna try to basically do a double flat. They're gonna do a cloud flat and a curl flat zone. So literally that's what I'm gonna do here. Got two, got a purple and a blue zone over there on that left side. And what you're gonna see here is at the snap of the ball, I'm gonna be able to step up in this pocket and it's a wide open dot against the cover two. The only way that they can defend this is if the cover two cloud flat is completely left alone and ran exactly how it is designed to run by the computer version of the game. This is going to force them out of zone drops and allow you, if they do that, and this is what I want you to really grasp in this video here today. So let's say that they do that. So that now they're gonna know they can't do that. So they're gonna drop, they're gonna have to be zone drop flats are gonna have to be a default and zone drop cloud or um, curl flats are going to have to be at uh, zero yards so that they take the curl, take the underneath um, flat route away. Well, let me show you what's gonna happen for this offense. This is what makes this spread flex week out of the Atlanta playbook so good with curl flat. Really any curl flat concept that has the angle route to the running back is gonna work. But what you'll see here is this is what they're gonna have to do to stop this. And this is just on one side of the field. Stop the ball, you step up in the pocket. As you see here, I can still pop this zone in. I can still pop that throw in against cloud flats. That's cloud flats, right? But let's just say they take it away. Well, look what you have right here. You have this little angle route to the running back. That's gonna get massive, massive yardage. What I love about shotgun spread, this is what I absolutely love about shotgun spread, is it's so spread out that they are gonna have a dang near impossible time to be able to stop everything. What I like to do from this is I will typically run a streak on one side of the field. I like to have the curl as, a, as just a check down, a curl flat as a check down. Maybe I run four verticals on the back side. And now what you're gonna see is if they're in cloud flats, I can easily pass lead that to the right and hit Calvin Ridley over the top. So curl flat is one of the best concepts. I don't think very many people have talked about it uh, as just an actual concept because of what it does against the yellows. The flat zones this year, or the flat, um, the flat routes, they pull zones like they've never pulled them ever before. They literally pull zones out of the out of the um, realm of anything that they're going to be able to do to stop you. As you see here, this is just standard cover two cloud flat. I'm just going to pass lead it down, stab the ball, and you see we're going to be able to deliver it. This just, to me, uh, matters so much. Now what I want to do is I want to show you one, one other type of zone before we go, and that is the soft squat zone. So literally I'm going to go into my zone drops, and we're going to go back to default on everything. And I'm gonna to go to formation and I'm just gonna pick dollar cover to sink if I can find it. Cover to sink, yep. And this has a soft squat zone to the to the corner on the outside. What you're gonna see here, and we're in the middle of the field, right? It can work on both sides. If you're in the short hash, it'll work. Wide hash, it's gonna work even better. Um, but anyway, here you're gonna see cover to sink, snap of the ball, step up in the pocket. You see the flat's gonna pull it down, leave that window open, and you're gonna be able to hit that curl route very, 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 very consistently, guys. Because the flat is from a spread formation, it gets out there earlier and it's gonna pull the zone down in a better way and you're gonna be able to pop curl routes all day long. Literally, in my opinion, this is one of the best concepts, best two-man concepts that you can do. So what I have a lot of times, you have a lot of three-man route combinations, but if you start to put this in, um, you see there he does drop there and we're able to hit that flat. You can hit the flat late, but what's so good about this concept in my opinion, is that literally you can do anything with the other three route combinations. The other three route combinations, you can do whatever you want and you will be successful. Doesn't matter what you do. So like literally I could run four verticals on one side and I can run curl um, this little concept on the other side and you see here it's just dang near impossible to stop it with zone. Dang near impossible to stop it with zone. And if they go man to man, like that's not gonna help them at all because if they go man to man and they drop the two purples, well, it's curl city. Like literally they can't stop the curl routes. 
The all, also, they're going to have a dang near impossible time stopping this running back route. This running back route is very consistent against man to man. That's what makes this play concept so, so effective. You can do this from any formation in the game. I think it's best from shotgun spread. But guys, Curl Flat is back. There was a year, I think it was Madden 13, where we saw Curl Flats one from Gun Spread be one of the best offenses in Madden. I think this year is the same story. Uh, I'm going to be adding this to my personal ebooks in my personal arsenal. Um, and so, guys, if you want to take your game to the next level, one of the things I do want to encourage you to do is to jump in my community Discord. Discord is a great place for you to be able to laugh, to get new ideas, to share your ideas with the community. Um, it's just an awesome place. We've got about 330 people over there chatting. Madden 24 7. And so, if you're looking for a community, if you're looking for a place to find good lab partners, be sure to jump in that Discord. A link to that is in the description. Also, if you want to take your offense to the next level, my offensive ebook is out with the gun spread. We're updating it with the gun trips and some of the cluster formations from the Arizona playbook. But my competitive bundle guide is accessible in the description of this video. You can pick that up. Uh, and then, uh, guys, we're going to see you later today. We've got more YouTube content coming for you today. Just wanted to get this out and share this simple concept, two-man route combination, going to be very, very effective for your offense this year. We'll see you later.